Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on my YouTube channel. If you're joining us for the first time, we want to thank you for watching our channel. For those of you who have been watching our previous videos, you've noticed we focus on more informative and educating content within the African continent. In today's episode, we are taking you straight into the beautiful city of Dakar in Senegal. By the end of this video, you would have known the amazing history of this transformative African capital. The most important thing will be about the strategic importance for Senegal itself, but more importantly, we will be looking at Dakar in specific and also discuss this city with you. So by the end of this video, you will know the importance of Dakar, not just for the people of Senegal, but the region at large and also international experts who are visiting this amazing African capital. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Looking at Dakar, Dakar is the city and the capital of Senegal and is one of the chief seaports on the western African coast. It is located midway between the mouth of the Gambian and the Senegal rivers on the southeastern side of Cape Verde Peninsula, close to Africa's most waterly point. Dakar's harbor is one of the best in West Africa, also protected by limestone cliffs of the Cape and by the system of breakwaters. The city's name comes from a Daha, a Waluf name for uh, termite trees, and the name of a coastal Lebu village that was located south of what is now the first pier. Considering Dakar, Dakar was founded in 1857 when the French built a fort on the site of the modern place de la Independence to safeguard the interests of merchants who had been settling there for over 20 years and of residents of Gori. Gori, a waterless island in the least of the peninsula that once uh, was an outpost for slaves and also uh, other tradings. By 1862, a short brick water has been built on Dakar Point and a town laid out on the low limestone platform behind the study beach. Another generation elapsed, however, before Dakar gained its supremacy over Goris and refuge, the latter being a settlement located 13 miles over 21 kilometers, each along uh, the peninsula, which had become an important export center for peanuts and also trade. The opening in 1886 of Western Africa's first railway from St. Louis to Dakar was a great impetus to Dakar's development and the railroad also stimulated the cultivation of peanuts in the vicinity of its tracks. In 1902, Dakar replaced St. Louis as the federal capital of French West Africa. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. In looking at Dakar from a different perspective, during the World War I, Dakar's port grew in importance. As of 1923, a rail line to the French Sudan, which is now a noun called Mali, was opened and brought new transit trade to the port. Extensive improvements were made, and by 1930s, Dakar had become the region's chief peanut shipping port. During World War II, Dakar, like all of French West Africa, recognized the authority of the Vichy administration of France in 1940. Also, the efforts of French or Free France to secure towns in the same year failed badly. Further development of Dakar was delayed until French West Africa rallied to allies to about 1943. If you consider the transformative African capital, talking about the capital of Senegal, Dakar, during World War II, peanut oil refinery became an important uh, industry in Dakar because of the location and North African needs for vegetable oil, which has also been previously refined mostly in France. Other industries were established in the city, but by 1961, the French West Africa had split into eight independent states and Dakar's markets were consequently reduced. Dakar was the capital of the short-lived Mali Federation from 1959 to uh, 1960 and in 1960, it became the capital of the Republic of Senegal. Since World War II, the city has undergone much urban expansion. Numerous suburbs and also shanty towns have developed around this city. For those of you who've traveled to Dakar, you will understand the amazing transformation that's going on and also the receptive nature 
of this amazing African capital. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The city has several coast trusting districts. In considering that, in the southern district are republics or public buildings, hospitals, and embassies. North is the business district, which is focused on the players de la independence. North and also east lie the quarters associated with the port, such as the port proper, the fishing harbor, and also the peanut export sector. Near the latter also are close to the railway are older peanut crushing plants and other factories. And further to the north is also the industrial estate of Han. Looking at the different angle from Dakar's own transformation, Dakar is one of tropical Africa's leading industrial and service center. Its industries include peanut oil refinery, fishing, canning, flooring, and also milling, brewing, and truck assembly. And the petroleum refinery is also found there. Many cultural institutions are located in Dakar, such as the Grand National Theater of Dakar. You also have the Daniel Serrano National Theater. There is also the Theodore Monon African Art Museum, a museum of fundamental institute of black African, uh, sorry, point out, uh, which is called Institute Fundamental de l'Afrique du Noir, that focuses on the anthropology and arts of Africa, and the Museum of Black Civilization, which has a large collection of African cultural artifacts. There are also excellent museums of sea and also of history near Guri. The Corniche Road, uh, also around Cape Manuel, offers fine views of harbor and the island. Also, there are some good beaches, like Leopold Senda Senghor International Airport as well. To north of the city is an important uh, stopping point for flights between Europe and South America. Dakar has gone a long way. The city has transformed. There are also international organizations that are in this amazing African capital. Dakar has some very attractive places for those who plan to visit. If you have been to Dakar in the past couple of months or years, we would like to hear from you. For those of you who are living in Dakar at the moment, we would like to know what is so transformative and also attracting to this amazing African capital and tell us why people should visit Dakar. Also, if you plan to travel to Dakar in the next couple of months or years to come, let us know what you intend to visit and to check in Dakar. So I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Hopefully, we encourage you to watch our other videos about Senegal and other African countries on our channel. I want to thank you for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.